Summer basketball was huge in the Grand Strand come July. A couple weeks ago, the girls were on display, and this week, 200 boys teams grades 6 through 12 hit the court Tuesday for the NTBA National Championship at the Sports Center in Myrtle Beach. News 13 sports anchor and reporter Candace Martino stopped by to check out the action that all ends coming up this weekend. When it comes to Myrtle Beach, it's always fun, but bringing home hardware is even better. That's what 14 teams will do come Saturday at the Sports Center. We just give teams an opportunity to come and play in a different championship. Um, AAU and NTBA are certainly very similar, um, but it gives teams an opportunity that, you know, uh, maybe want to come and enjoy the Grand Strand area, come to Myrtle Beach, and it gives them a chance to compete in a national championship. Over a span of three weeks, 43 national champions will be crowned. It's an annual event to offer for both girls and boys basketball. They come from all over. Um, they've come as far as Texas, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin. Um, we do certainly get a lot of the Southeast teams that are within driving range. The National Travel Basketball Association has 50 tournaments in total, all of which add up to the national championship in Myrtle Beach. Competition is a really wide range from uh, all the way from your more developmental teams that are looking to just get better, have fun, to your elite teams that are here to, you know, hopefully win the national championship and everything in between. So it, it uh, brings a lot of really exciting games. There's no shortage of teams, but there is for referees. The national shortage can be felt in the summer circuit. Being in the official uh, business right now is tough. Um, so we do see a lot of uh, referees that unfortunately are not wanting to do it anymore. So we're excited about what we were able to get, uh, but it's certainly tough. The NTBA generates more than $10 million economically to the area. When it's all said and done, more than a thousand teams will compete throughout the year. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, I'm Candace Martino, News 13 Sports.